All right, so things just got crazy with Nick Sirianni seemingly firing several coaches on the defensive side of the ball and even more changes to the staff may be on the way as the hunt for new coordinators and coaches is officially on. So who are some of the potential candidates? Well, one area that the Eagles probably won't be looking for new candidates is at the head coach position as it seems like Nick Sirianni will be back for next season. But on the other hand, it seems like offensive coordinator Brian Johnson won't return, especially after it was revealed that him and Jalen Hurts were in constant disagreement the entire season. Plus, Jason Kelsey just lost his mind. So we're going to talk about all that and more in this video today, and we won't waste any time. Let's get straight into it. All right, so the divisional round of the NFL playoffs is now officially over, and we're down to the final four teams. So congrats to the Ravens, the 49ers, especially the Lions, and also the Chiefs for making it to the conference championships. And as much as it hurts that the Eagles weren't playing this weekend and obviously won't be playing in the NFC championship either, I must admit, it did help to see Jason Kelsey going absolutely crazy during the Chiefs and Bills game, with him pulling up to the Bills tailgate pregame and drinking some beers with the fans fans, as he is of course a true man of the people. And he was then seen up in the Kelsey suite with this one random fan among other people, and then he really stole the show, as after Travis Kelsey scored his first touchdown of the day, Jason was shown screaming his head off while shirtless with a beer in his hand. And what makes this clip even better is that his wife Kylie isn't even phased by it, like, at all. And it doesn't stop there, as after Travis's next touchdown, he was in the background shirtless yet again drinking a beer, and there are also videos of him hopping out of the suite into the freezing buffalo weather shirtless and chugging more beers. I mean, he was absolutely doing it all during the course of this game and just watching him was electric and it was hilarious i mean dude the guy is an absolute legend and i can't express how much i want him to come back and play just one more year and go out the right way but if he does officially retire and this is the energy he's bringing to a chiefs game imagine what he'd be like at an eagles playoff game i mean he'd be an absolute menace and it would be incredible so just do me a favor drop a like down below for the icon that is jason kelsey now getting back to that actual game i mean it was a phenomenal game between two amazing teams and it really makes you think like how in the world did the Eagles beat both of these teams in back-to-back -back games this season just like two months ago? I mean, I honestly have no idea based on how this Eagles team played down the stretch, but I will say this, the switch they made at defensive coordinator in the middle of the season when they were already 10-3 and certainly didn't help. I mean, the players pretty much even said it themselves after the season that that switch was a huge mistake, and at the end of the day, what it did is just make things way more difficult for a defense that was already struggling in the first place, but that brings me to my next point, which is that neither defensive coordinator was good. Both were terrible. Both made bonehead decisions, they called the game way too soft, and they did put their players in the best positions to succeed. I think it was definitely worse for Patricia, but Desai, I think we're forgetting, aside from a few nice moments, he was also really, really bad for the most part, so that's why it was amazing to see the Eagles do what needed to be done on Sunday, as they made some big changes in that area. I mean, of course, there was a lot of speculation, even before the season ended, that the Eagles are going to make some big changes to the defensive staff in the offseason, and that has become official now, with the Eagles firing former defensive coordinator Sean Desai after just one season with the team, and Nick Sirianni reportedly made the final decision here to get rid of Desai. And I think all Eagles fans can agree that this was a good decision, but they can also agree that the Desai firing alone was just not enough. You're only half happy or? Still to be happy about. Job's not finished. Job finished? No, I don't think so. Well, the Eagles got that message, as it was later reported that the Eagles and Matt Patricia will not renew their contract together, leaving the Eagles without both of their defensive coordinators from the season, which is fantastic news, obviously. And John Clark expanded on these reports, saying, quote, Matt Patricia is also moving on from the Eagles. He will be pursuing other opportunities. Nick Sirianni let go of Sean Desai. The Eagles are looking for a new defensive coordinator. My understanding is there could be a handful of coaching changes made by Nick Sirianni. So again, not only is this fantastic news because the Eagles now actually have the chance to go out and get a competent defensive coordinator for once, but it also shows that Nick Sirianni is pretty much guaranteed to return next year. I mean, he's the one who fired Desai. He's seemingly the main guy that's responsible right now for making changes to this coaching staff, and he wouldn't have that much responsibility if he wasn't going to stick around. And this tweet from ML Football only supports the idea that Sirianni is staying, as it says, quote, Eagles owner Jeffrey Lurie told head coach Nick Sirianni that to keep his job, he must fire Matt Patricia and Sean Desai per team sources. And of course, he's now done that. And then he continues on saying, quote, Lurie walked out intrigued by Nick's plan regarding potential coordinators, and those plans included a former head coach who previously spent time with the team, and it also included Denard Wilson, the former Eagles DB coach and now Ravens DB coach. And then it also goes on to say, quote, I'm told they continue to talk while leaving the meeting, which, quote, never happens with Lurie. So really, everything is pointing 
to Sirianni returning and then big changes being made to the rest of the staff. And hopefully Nick can bounce back from a rough year and earn back the favor of the Philadelphia fans. But circling back to that tweet, Denard Wilson is a name I really, really like. I mean, he had the Eagles secondary playing lights out in 2022, and they had the number one pass defense in the NFL, and James Bradbury was an all-pro under Wilson, which, I mean, looking back on it, that's just extremely impressive considering how horrible Bradbury and the Eagles secondary were this year, and Wilson really just overall had a lot of success during his time in Philly. He then interviewed for the Eagles defensive coordinator job last offseason, but Sean Desai obviously got it over him, and then Sirianni kind of cut Wilson loose, which reports are saying that there's an internal belief in the Eagles organization that this was a huge mistake by Sirianni to not hire Wilson, and also to add on to it, his decision to fire him, especially considering that he went on to coach in Baltimore, and their secondary has been incredible this year. I mean, they're one of the top pass defenses in the entire league, so assuming he'd be willing to come back as the defensive coordinator this time, I'd absolutely love that move. But speaking of the Ravens, I mean, can we talk about this presumed Super Bowl 59 logo being purple and light green, which is causing people to speculate that if this trend of the teams playing in the Super Bowl matching the colors of the logo continues, maybe this could be a Ravens and Eagles Super Bowl with the Eagles and Kelly green. I mean, come on, that'd be amazing. But getting back on track, for the Eagles to get back there, they gotta find the right defensive coordinator, and they're reportedly already reaching out to multiple candidates. We've obviously talked about Wilson, who I'm sure they will contact if they haven't already, and then Diana Rossini reported that the Eagles have already reached out to a couple other defensive coordinators, one being former Giants DC Wink Martindale, who has a very different style than the other defensive coordinators we've had here during Sirianni's tenure as the head coach, as Wink is known for his aggressive style and creative blitzes, which I absolutely love, and I've already talked about Wink in a previous video, and I said I'd love him as the next DC, so I really like the fact that they've already reached out to him. And on top of that, they also apparently reached out to former Falcons DC Ryan Nielsen, and I mean, this one, I don't really know about. I mean, he has limited experience as a play caller, and the Falcons defense was not that great last year, but then again, they're not a super talented unit and they definitely overperformed. And there's multiple areas where the Falcons defense was very, very successful under Nielsen. Plus, this guy is also a defensive line specialist, so he should be able to get the most out of the star guys the Eagles have in their pass rushing unit. And I definitely do think he would be an upgrade over Desai or Patricia, but I feel like I don't really know enough about the guy to have a fully 100% educated opinion on him. And then also, as of today, it was reported by Jeremy Fowler of ESPN that former Commanders head coach Ron Rivera is going to be interviewing with the Eagles for their open defensive coordinator position per sources. And honestly, I gotta say, I do like the potential of Rivera as the next Eagles DC. I mean, this is a guy who has had a lot of success in this league. Now, he hasn't been a defensive coordinator in a long time. The last time he was one was in 2010 with the Chargers, but back in that year, the Chargers led the league in total defense. And so, again, this is a guy who has had a lot of success being the defensive coordinator. And ESP pointed out that Ron Rivera checks a lot of important boxes, including the fact that he can be the head coach of a defense. He has tons of experience and success as a DC, like I just said. It also says he probably isn't leaving for a head coach job next year, as well as the fact that he can be an asset to Sirianni and let him focus more on the offense. And he also has experience in Philadelphia and knows Jeffrey Lurie and how things work with the Eagles. And speaking of his relationship with Jeffrey Lurie, Zach Berman posted a quote from Jeffrey Lurie on Ron Rivera in 2020 saying, quote, he's a family member of ours. Stephanie and my wife play golf together and Ron is somebody I really respect. He's a high quality person in every sense of the word. So honestly, all that leads me to believe that Ron Rivera could potentially be the early favorite to be the Eagles next defensive coordinator. And if it were to happen again, like I said, I definitely would like it. I mean, this guy has been a head coach in the NFL for a long time, so he knows how to be a leader. Guys really, really like to play for him. And again, he has had a lot of success as a defensive coordinator in the past. So if they did hire Rivera, I definitely would not be upset about it. But that being said, what do you guys think? I'm not going to act like I'm an expert in all these coordinator candidates. So how do you feel about these guys? Now, I almost guarantee you that I know how you feel about Brian Johnson if you're an Eagles fan, because this guy was terrible as the offensive coordinator and play caller this year for the Birds, and a change is sorely needed there as well. And it seems like that could be on the horizon, as Jeff McClain reported that along with Desai and Patricia Departures, quote, OC Brian Johnson is currently interviewing for head coach opening, so the Eagles won't do anything to hinder his chances, but he could be the next major domino to fall. So from that, it really does sound like if BJ isn't gone because he's hired to be a head coach, he's going to be gone anyways by means of him getting fired. And we got more confirmation on that today with Derek Gunn reporting that all indications are that the Eagles and offensive coordinator Brian Johnson will be parting ways. And not only is that because of his shortcomings in play calling, but it probably also has something to do with the fact that him and Jalen Hurts, you know, the Eagles franchise quarterback who they paid a record contract to that also features a no trade clause, they were rarely on the same page during this entire season with Ralph Facciano reporting that and the fact that quote Hertz would reportedly freelance and call audibles frequently late in the season I mean no doubt that's because he didn't agree with Johnson's ideas or play calls and really who could blame him? we saw how bad the play calls were at times this year I mean the amount of stupid and ineffective wide receiver screenplays or quarterback draws that were run was just absurd
absurd, and their refusal to utilize the middle of the field when it worked nearly every time they did it, or to give Jalen Hurts any hot routes for when he's being blitzed, I mean, it was all just crazy, so he can understand why Hurts may have had a problem, and hopefully Johnson can join Desai and Patricia soon if he doesn't get a head coaching job. And honestly, I must admit, I'm a delusional Philly fan. If Sirianni goes out there and hires coordinators who I end up liking, then you know I'm going to be bought right back into this team. I mean, they have talent. You can't deny that. They just have to have better coaching, and I think a lot can be fixed. I mean, obviously, again, it depends on who they get and also how free agency in the draft goes in terms of retaining and adding players, but I know I'm going to get myself to buy into this team next year anyway, especially if they do end up getting good coordinators. Plus, they got Jalen Hurts, who I very much believe in, along with other amazing players, and let's hope they also get this legend back for one more year too. Now, we're going to keep you updated on that situation and also the Eagles coordinator search as the offseason continues to progress, and just really, we're going to cover the Eagles throughout this entire offseason, so if you don't want to miss any of that, make sure you go down right now, really importantly, and just subscribe, and also turn on those notifications so you don't miss any other Eagles updates just like this. Also, while you're at it, make sure you drop a like if you want to show some support, I'd greatly appreciate it, and also leave a comment down below just regarding anything that I talked about in this video and if you want to watch another video going over a huge development regarding jason kelsey's retirement as well as other news you can go check this out right here now with all that being said that's pretty much all i got for this one guys so thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video